Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, where we're on our way. I decided to fast travel during the loading. I don't know, during the beginning of the episode, instead of making you guys wait through it. Yeah, R one right. I so I got the, all those those uh, those bomb stamina things, but not super concerned about. It. There's one though that if it bounces, it does more damage. Um, so that seems that seems like it'd be pretty nice. Oh boy, time for a showdown. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-It-All is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Oh, what? No. Got it. Don't put him in there. <sighs> We're just letting him walk through our base like morons. Well, Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Xenoverse. I don't owe you nothing. You're right. I don't owe you anything. I do owe you. My spear in your throat okay, for that. deceiving me again. At the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. I like his outfit. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. I understand. I hope she actually means it. Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Like, you can't use the kill hey, well, threat guest is here. too much. She's, um, coming to you. Without, uh, you know. Thanks. Good timing. Actually following up the on truth it. truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. Oh. The company you keep is even worse than us. He I didn't thought. know she was coming. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be your little invention. He actually brought it. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Ooh! I think that's not a bad idea. Enough, both of you. We're in this together. At least for now. Go talk to Aaron. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. That's it? We're like gonna have a meeting? Oh my. Oh no, you first. Oh! I'm not even gonna get out the door. I'm like, we gotta have a meeting. And then I'm like, now leave. Better get everyone in the control room so Tilda can tell us I actually she knows did about read the just now the, uh,. The bi the bio upgrades or the bios whatever for the people, yeah. I just read the last three. Um, it's just Tilda, Gerard, and Eric. Tilda's is is interesting. It's a little longer. <clears throat> She's Dutch. Uh, and yeah, we all knew that. The rest of these are not. You know, you can pause it and look at it, but it's like, oh, he was a powerful and egotistical man. He was cruel and sadistic and powerful and rich. They were all cruel, powerful, and rich, probably. I'm like, cool beans. Oh, wait. Whoop. I did want to see if this would do anything. Whoop. It's probably going to be update on Regala. Yeah, my stupid controller is like, throws me on things. With Regala out of the way, Hikaru and Tanak, they're safe. The future's up to them now. I do wish they'd drop all the honorary names they've given me. But if I've learned anything about them, that is not a battle I am going to win. Yeah, you keep getting names because they don't they want to give you something better than Outlander. For anybody, any of the groups are they all try to do that. Actually, before I go talk to any of them. Just you wait, Farm. We're taking those space lugs down. I is this, where is that door? To go out the back door. Is this one? I'm gonna go talk to Varl. 
if I can. Try to be better about this, at least, even if I didn't do well on my tokens. But I did, I did good with this on Rost, so... Wait! Oh, wrong one. Wrong door, right? Yeah. Freaking... Where is he? Ah, oh, where you at? See, I'm also mad. See how it dragged me out of the arena like I told you it would? Ha. I didn't get to loot any of those things because they kept knocking me off. Yes, yes, everybody's back. I need to go out the back door. I'm confused. Is it this one? Yes. There we go. This is beautiful. I really love the Utara architecture. Is that it? I guess we don't have anything we can say yet. I don't know, maybe it won't be. Or maybe after I talk to people here. Like, after I... Oh, I did just complete the Wings of the Ten. I don't know. I'll check. I'll check periodically when I come back. Check after all the conversations with people in here. Hold on. I think I'm getting it. Aloy. You came back with some interesting oh, you know me. Friends. At least I didn't bring Regala. Wish I could say we don't need them. But Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Well, they're making trouble. Yet? No. So, uh, Katala tells me you I did. flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my belts trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. The Alcerum can read. Looking forward to it. He can read. He just can't read, probably... English, I guess. I don't know. I, no. Because everybody learned English. Coming out of the creches or whatever they are. The tubes. I don't know. Maybe they don't. But, I mean, language evolves. So, like, they could have their own... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they all do actually have their own, like, written language. Because you could make, it would be interesting to have the same spoken language, but you represent it differently, right? With different characters. That would be a fascinating thing. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug <laughs> after everything he's done? The animation done. for that. Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. I do want to say, um, rest in peace to his voice actor. His voice actor actually died recently. He did excellent characters. I've been watching. I watched Critical Role recently, and he actually voiced the like evil dragon in season two. Um, and he just, I mean, he has an excellent voice, like, and his silence, like, voice, like, it's all, he does an excellent, at least he does an excellent villain from what, from what I know of him. Um, and they actually, they modeled his face, like, silence's face is modeled after his voice actor's face. Um, so that they could have, like, more, like, it, it would fit better with, like, the speaking mannerisms and stuff. And so, um, I was really sad to hear about his passing. He seemed like a really great guy and he'd done a, a lot of good work, so... Rest in peace to him. I can't even remember his name off the top of my head. I'm a terrible person, but anyway, I was sad to hear about it because he did do such good work in at least in the games and stuff I've heard of him. So I better get going. Oh, you know where to find me. And it's kind of sad because it's like, oh, because like I mean, maybe it's a little weird, but it's like, no, dang it, we won't get to have him for like anything else, you know, like for any future Horizon games or whatever. <laughs> like maybe Silence. I mean, he could probably be kind of written out, I guess, but still, it's like, oh man, you know? 
Aloy. It appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. Some sun in here would be nice. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal. Bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's... definitely different. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. I've been keeping a list of my favorite flowers, because I can, you know, I'll put up here, someone's like, what's your favorite flower? I'm like, I don't know. I've been keeping a list, though, because I think I mentioned it a long time ago in these episodes, but, um, in this playthrough. But I really would like to get a little packet of seeds of my favorite flowers and carry them around with me. And of all the things in this game, that's one of the things that's really stuck with me as, like, a really great way to, like, live your, I, I don't know, to live and to die is to, like, carry your legacy with you throughout your life of like seeds of places you've gone and th like I don't know reminding you of memories and then like when you when you're gone when you die like the seeds are planted or like if, I think one of the things was like if they die like out in the world and you know they just lay they, they, they're essentially buried where they lay like those seeds pop up you know where they died as like a memorial like a little mini one you know and i just really like that idea i think i'd like to carry around a little sachet of seeds and someday eventually when i'm gone have it planted or i'm buried i think that's a i think it's a nice idea i like it a lot i have to go what i trust you to keep things did i so press the wrong button you? i'll make sure aaron doesn't punch silence in the face if that's what you mean thanks hang on i wasn't done I thought I clicked the companions button, but I didn't. What's on your mind? Have you talked to any of our new friends? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silence. Yeah, good luck. But apparently, <laughs> tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? Eh. I should get going. Let us know when you need us. I really, the only reason I think Silence wants to preserve the world is so that he can keep learning and, like, doing things on his own. He has no interest in, like, saving other people. You, you flew? Kotalo told me. And took out Regala's machines? You know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here, our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. Like, probably literally. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. Oh, good. Everyone's telling me. I don't me. know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her well and this bodes Probably ill both. this bodes ill <laughs> because if she's treating she's like i want to help you save the planet but i was curious if she just wants to save me as a representation of elizabeth sobeck or if she actually is interested in like see if she sees everybody on the planet as human or if she only sees aloy as human because this woman's been alive for thousands of years and that messes with your brain like it messes with all of them right and how they perceive themselves they see themselves as gods and they see like humans as like other humans that aren't them as lesser beings animals ants essentially to be like crushed you know so i was really curious if if she's like and she said that like you know seeing aloy's focus like opened her eyes to the fact it almost like opened her eyes to the fact that aloy is human aloy is a person you know like with the loves and lives and dreams and you know like all these things you know as she has value intrinsic value just as as, as an existing person you know um so i'm i'm a little nervous it like, if she's, like, hyper-fixating on me, or if she's... I don't know. I don't know what her whole thing is, but apparently... And maybe she's just awkward, you know? I say that. I get, like, when I'm at work, I tend to, like, we, we work all day, like, 10 hours a day. You know, we're in the same truck. Like, I hang out with all my coworkers, and I enjoy working with them. And at the end of the day, I go to my campsite, which is usually... I go further away from everybody else, and I just chill on my own. 
And that apparently makes some people think that I'm very standoffish. And what it is, is it's just me setting boundaries. Like, I love working with you guys. You guys are great. In order to prevent any overload, you know, I need to have my own space and time. Also, I have hobbies and I bring stuff with me. Like, I have books and games and I have all kinds of things that I can do. I have a life outside of work that, like, most of my coworkers seem to like not bring anything with them except like beer and campfire supplies and every night they go like can't they go like sit around the campfire and talk all night and I'm like that's just not what I do like I have a life outside of work and outside of my coworkers even when I'm in the field you know so anyway being that that I I tried to not be like too standoffish but I did hear like whispers that like people thought I was like really like standoffish and like bitchy I guess <laughs> and I was like just because like I don't know it was weird to me but I've done it before too or people kind of keep to themselves and you're like oh they must be unfriendly and it's like that's not necessarily the case like maybe they are unfriendly or maybe they just want to have their own space at the end of the day you know not everybody needs to be together 24 7 anyway that was a long potential explanation for why she wants to be on her own but who knows you sure you're okay going on this mission I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Uh, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command, too? Uh, Guess the more the merrier. I hope our new guests have been behaving. This Silens, he's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith. I am very curious about that. Yes. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our... spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. And maybe, I don't know. That's an interesting way to put it, because I think that is actually, like, I'm pretty sure it's sociopath. It's somebody who doesn't, at least doesn't feel emotions how a, a normal person does. Because it is, it's very abnormal to be born without that sort of capacity to feel. And maybe because he, he sort of feels that lack, or like, I don't know, recognizes, I don't feel that lack necessarily, but recognizes that lack, that he's lost himself in his work, you know? I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you Or maybe call. he sees it as a boon, like he doesn't have to worry about any of that stuff. He can focus on like the more important higher things. Blah 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 blah. Um Catalo, I think is in the game room which Oh it is here, okay. Oh shoot. Show me more. It's his arm. I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. I haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten, and <laughs> paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Eee! Ooh, whoa, okay. Yeah, okay. Your people keep mentioning the wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky for us. To imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now, you have done it. <laughs> like the deeds of the Ten themselves, it will never be forgotten. So, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> how did it feel? Oh, I won't lie. Pretty good. I can only imagine. Man, someday we'll get you one. Your people keep oh, mentioning the okay. wind. The vision and leapt in for us. It is it why looked the like it wasn't up. grayed out. So? I won't lie. I can only... Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that... 
Doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and... And she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her, nothing would surprise me. That wouldn't me. surprise me, either, honestly. Things will get ugly once the Zeniths realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. I love his outfit, but I do think that would get very painful. Like, if he has to I bend to. over? But I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood. Like, look at that. If you had to bend over with that on, you'd stab yourself. Okay, time to find the rest there you are. of you. Get out of here. You're not welcome in here. I don't know if I should talk to Silence. I should talk to Silence first, I feel like. Thematically, I feel like I should talk to him first. Where he at? He, I don't know where he is. I thought I saw him. I keep thinking. Did you need something? I knew you'd be in here. Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. <laughs> Care to explain? Not a chance. Meh. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. I love his, like, but that's not why you're his here. design. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success, perhaps I'm willing to be generous. An exchange of knowledge? While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shit. Uh, yeah. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quen I mentioned, on one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain, like what you did with Hades. For a start. <laughs> No, I think Silens, like, feels about as strongly about Pharaoh as I do, honestly. Like, I think he sees Ted Pharaoh as, like, literally the worst person to ever exist because he scrapped knowledge for, like, greed and pride, you know? Like, Silens and I are on the same boat on Ted Pharaoh, our opinions on Ted Pharaoh. But it's interesting, I feel like Aloy almost would be like, it's, it's interesting to talk to Silens because I think more than anybody, he understands all of this more than anybody else does like he's been with Aloy for a long like for a long time with any like as she figured all this info out and he figured out a lot of it before she did and like but like they know what each other is talking about like and it's like old, like old hands at it so it's got to be kind of interesting tell me about the weapon how does it work I've upgraded the delivery system it now emits a wave like effect covering a significant distance that doesn't fully answer my question. No, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. I thought you wanted the knowledge to spread. Why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes. Even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. 
Listen, he was like, oh my gosh, they all wrapped up their knowledge in mysticism and kept it all to themselves and didn't disseminate it. And I'm like, you're, you're not here telling me you want to disseminate information and knowledge. <laughs> like, I don't think you want that either. Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months. Let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zenith from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakhs to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question, or are you still playing catch up? Yeah. So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be... extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation. At the Hades Proving Lab. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset. Thereby keeping you out of harm's way, and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier. Yes. Exceedingly I so. think so, honestly. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a bunch of Osirum tinkerers to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades and the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans, all while remaining anonymous. Mm -hmm. All right, Silence. I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. Oh, boy. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. Someone very similar to you! For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities. Well, your goals may be aligned now. But I'd watch for the moment they diverge. This rich coming from you. Yeah, I'm away. Yeah. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, just call it a feeling. Uh, oh, a feeling? Yeah, finally. <laughs> you mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change silence. 